Thank you very much. I can see the amount of emotion in what you're speaking to, and I think it is indeed an issue that deserves attention, and not just attention, maybe attention at my level. So let me say just two things. Yes. We just completed celebrating the week uh, that we have been we, we, we've been focused on ensuring that we end gender violence. And we, we it's, it's time that we no longer pay lip service to matters women in general. As you may be aware, you may be aware um, I have written to Parliament just this week uh, to tell Parliament it's time for us to actualize the two that gender group. And I have made proposals by proposals to Parliament so that this conundrum that we're going around women issues, it must come to an end and we must keep our word and keep what the Constitution says. I have very confident that this 10 year chase that we've had on women issues is going to come to an end and we're going to actualize what the Constitution says. <laughs> Number two, I made a commitment in this election that I will have a cabinet level advisor in the presidency on women issues. I did appoint my good sister Harriet Chikai, who is a cabinet level member on women's issues. And, and I, I want to invite you to uh, have a conversation with her. Alfred Mutua will connect you to her so that we can tackle the issues. many families, many of our girls, many of uh, our workers outside Kenya sometimes have gone through situations that are unpleasant. And interrogating the issue is not so much about the host countries, it's not so much about us. And I intend to sort out the problem because the problem is about our uh, the government of Kenya, and, the, and what it can do, making sure that those who organize those jobs are properly licensed, mm -hmm. they are held to account, yeah. and when a citizen leaves Kenya to go and work anywhere, it is no longer the business of the person who recruited them, it becomes the business of the government. <laughs> promise you that that we will sort out because we cannot allow a few issues that are mishandled to destroy the relationship between us and other countries, countries that offer huge opportunities for employment, for growth, for business, for Kenyans, millions of them, and sometimes maybe three, four, five, ten, maybe two percent of the incidences cause a big problem that we can actually use some opportunity for Kenyans to invest and work outside Kenya. I, I, I have taken too long, but thank you for asking so that we give an opportunity to explain.